Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We're going to be doing Clash in the Coliseum today. Yu-Gi vs. Kaiba. More and more fell to the power of Merrick. Merrick dueled Bakura for the Millennium Ring and won. It was now time for the semifinals. The first match was Joey vs. Merrick. Merrick's power was so great that the Winged Dragon of Ross sent Joey to the hospital. It seemed nothing could stop Merrick's reign of terror. The second semifinal would determine who would face off against Merrick. It was Yu-Gi vs. Kaiba, fighting for the first time since their battle in battle in Duelist Kingdom. Yugi, we mustn't let Joey struggle interfere with our er, concentration. Remember, in order to be overcome Merrick, we must get past Kaiba. Well, well, Yugi, so you decided to show up after all. Of course, to miss this duel is to deny my destiny. Spare me the drama. So why didn't the nerd, sh the nerd herd show up to cheer you on? Are they too busy trying to wake up to wake Wheeler up from his nap? Joey's in great deal of danger now, more than you could ever know. Wheeler shouldn't have been here in the first place. I warned him not to play with the big boys, and if you ask me, he got just what he deserved. A slap in the face by Raw. And if getting attacked by an Egyptian car god card didn't knock any sense into that kid, then nothing will. That's enough, Kaiba. You have no idea how dangerous this dual monster tournament of yours has become. The outcome of the Battle City Finals could put the whole world at risk. The only one at risk is you. For once I win, you won't be number one. Kaiba, it's not always about being number one. Yes, it is. It's always about being the best. It's about dueling with bravery, honor, and respect, and most importantly, putting the needs of others ahead of yourself, and that's something Joey Wheeler did every day of his life. Yugi, in ancient times, Roman gladiators would battle to their doom in order to prove who was the strongest. Now it's our turn to see which one of us deserves to call himself the greatest in the world. So draw your first card and let the battle begin. With pleasure, Kaiba. <sighs> You know, I kind of wish they would have had Kaiba actually beat Yugi once in the show, but he never does. I mean, he beat Yugi that one time, but Yugi really beat him. He would have won if he would have just attacked. Uh, and for Kaiba to be as good as he is, for Yugi to lose to freaking Raphael, but not Kaiba, makes no sense. Oh, whoopee, Slifer! <gasps> Woohoo! Oh, hey, look, it's Monster Reborn. What, how nice. What a nice little hand here. Got Slight. Dude, the way I play, Slifer is a useless card to me. It really is, because I usually don't have cards in my hand. So it becomes a pointless card for me. Oh, yay! Soul Exchange. Yeah, summon your blue eyes. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, you douche monkey. Oh yay, I got two Slifers in my hand, because that makes sense. Oh yay, dude! You have got... what the hell? What the hell did that card do? Banish that target into... oh my god, dude. I'm gonna lose here. I'm literally gonna lose because he dropped Blue Eyes first turn and now... My chance to destroy a blue eyes came up short. So now things are a little dicey. Dropping someone's skull is not gonna do me any good, it's just gonna get him killed. I might just have to. Okay, well. Well, I've lost. So I'm just gonna surrender here right off the bat because I, there, I don't have anything. Dude. I'm sick of this crap! I'm sick of getting these sucky hands! These stupid TV show duelists don't know how to make a normal deck. I don't get- I don't want three slifers in my deck. Get like, what is that crap? Get that crap out of my deck. I don't want three. I don't even want two! I just want one slifer in my deck and then I- if, if you could get rid of those and give me two more low level monsters or a pot of greed and a graceful charity or something. But see, this is just annoying. This is literally just stupid. Yay, I have two Slifers in my hand. Yay, because I can do so much with that. Dude, this is stupid, because now i got to set Beta. Okay, and he's going to get destroyed. And then once again, I'm going to have no cards in my hand. Yay, Kaiser Seahorse. Oh, these hands are so horrible. 
Yay, I can send Queen's Knight out to die. Whoopee. There's nothing I can do right now. I literally just have to throw cards in defense spell. See, this is why this is stupid. Why on earth do you put two slifers in one deck? Ruins the deck. Well, I am royally screwed. Oh, hey, Big Shield Gardena. I think I'm gonna lose this. I think I'm gonna lose this next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this next turn. So that's special. Could activate Soul Charge, but... No, I'm, I'm gonna lose this next turn. Whether I... If I activate Soul Charge, I might have no life points, so I'm gonna lose anyway. Because I'll activate it, I'll bring him back, and he'll probably hit Big Shield Gardena first. <sighs> I almost just want to make a user deck. So I can just blow through these because, but that would be too easy. All right. Okay, this is just a wacky hand here, dude. This is just a wacky hand. But this works, I can at least summon stuff. The old, oh my gosh, I have three King's Knights in my hand. Okay, Kaiba, can you be kind and let this King's Knight not get killed? Please, no Vorse Raider, no Vorse Raider. No Vorse Raider, no Kaiser Seahorse. Just throw another card in defense mode for me, buddy. No, you suck. You suck, Kaiba. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Yay, Z Metal Tank. Okay, time to activate Magical Hats. Uh, what cards do I not need? Um, I don't think I don't need Defusion really. So Defusion and. Double spell. Just exchange. I'm gonna do light force sword. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Guess what? Dang it, dude. What are the f Oh my god, dude. That just annoys the living hell out of me. Hey look, it's Slifer. Whoopie do. Am I gonna draw another Slifer next turn? I'm sick of Slifer the Sky Dragon. Wish you had a little bit of a customization with these decks. Like I could say, I don't want three Slifers in my deck. Who wants three Slifers? Oh yay, X Head Cannon. So now King's Knight and Queen's Knight are useless. Whoopee! Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! Card destruction! I'm going with it, dude. I gotta get a new hand. I gotta get something. Oh, he had Obelisk in his hand. Dude. Game. Give me something I can work with here. Yes! Thank you! Something I can work with. Exactly what I wanted. Now, I can at least get some monsters on the field. Okay, there's one turn. I need to draw something good. Brain control, that's not bad. Could summon Slifer. Like, Slifer's gonna have no attack points, though, next turn. If I do drop him, he's gonna have a max of 2,000. Final attack orders. I need something good. Summoner's art. Oh, this will have to do, I think. Uh, do I must want to place... Ah, oh, I should have done... Damn it! I should have done Dark Magician. I forgot I had Magic Formula in my hand. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. I take control of X-Head Cannon. Now I'm dropping Summon Skull. Let's go. 
Kaiba's probably got something sitting for me. Yep, yep, how did I know? How did I know that that would be the case? Alright. I gotta destroy some cards here so he can't drop a blue eyes. Gotta try to destroy some stuff. Oh hey, that actually works out well. Sw stuff gets switched to attack mode. Oh, you have got to be kidding me, dude. Damn it. That's an issue, because now when shit gets flipped over, it switches to attack mode. He's dropping a blue eyes. It's happening, probably. No, he didn't drop a blue eyes. But I am out of cards. Um, Spellbinding Circle, that will work. Okay, Summon Skull 1, go ahead and take out Blade Knight. And that'll do it for my turn, but Spellbinding Circle's gonna save me. Oh, Silent Doom. Oh god, oh my god. Yep, 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 activate this. The blue eyes can attack. So I'm actually not gonna do anything with the blue eyes. The blue eyes can attack me. Blade Knight can, though. Okay. Oh, uh, I literally can't do anything. We're at a stalemate here. We're literally at a stalemate, because both of his cards can't attack. <laughs> his two strong cards can't do anything. Okay, Queen's Knight. Throw her in defense mode. Okay, can I draw King's Knight next turn? Please, King's, King's Knight. Nope, I'm gonna get my ass soul exchanged so he can summon a blue eyes. Or not, I don't know what he summoned. Please. Oh god, big shield guard, not really. Really, dude. Oh god, he dropped Kaiser Seahorse, dude, and then he drops Kaiser Glider. Son of a bitch, man. I'm gonna lose, because now this is gonna get forced into attack mode. Well, I gotta draw a soul charge. Nope, I drew diffusion wave motion. Wow. Okay, well, that's a duel. It's really hard to duel against Kaiba, because he does have blue eyes, and there's nothing in Yugi's deck that is strong enough to destroy a blue eyes. You have to have the cards to combo him, and I just don't have them. Oh, man, dude. This is rough. These duels here at the end are getting rough. They are getting rough. Uh, not bad. Actually, not too disappointed with those cards. King's Knight. Set Light for Sword. Activate Light Force Sword now. Dang it, dude! I can't. Oh my god, the struggle is real. I'm gonna drop a blue eyes. Or not blue eyes, my dark magician. Alright. 
sacrifice both of his Kaiser Seahorses. Those could have been an issue with him having two, because he could have summoned two blue eyes for the price of one. And sacrifices. Alright, even this bad boy up a little bit here. But I have a feeling Kaiba's got something up his sleeve. My Dark Magician isn't gonna go. Oh. Oh, there's a blue eyes. He's gonna use Ancient Rules. Is he about to drop him? Ancient Rules? No ancient rules. Very surprising. Okay, I'm using card destruction. Screw it. Here are your cards, Kaiba. Oh, he had two blue eyes. Discard one spell, then target one spell in your graveyard as this card's effect resolution. Fall the target card's text as if it had been used itself. Well, do I want to draw card destruction again? Um, not really. Okay, we're just gonna sit tight right now. Like, this is still an issue because he can easily drop a Blue Eyes. He's got Ancient Rules in his deck, I know that. So I need to be kind of careful. Okay, he gets that card back to his hand. Oh, oh no. Okay, Queen's Knight, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and summon her. Or, okay, that's fine. You can summon, you can summon a clone of her. I don't really care. Okay, so shoot, go ahead and attack the face down, or not. Okay, final attack orders, that's fine. Oh, well, okay, that's not great. Everybody dies. Just everybody died right there. That was kind of okay. Alright, Dark Magician. Alright, Kaiba. Taking the lead. What you gonna do? You got three cards in your hand. You about to drop something on me? Do it. Okay, nothing. He doesn't have anything to drop. Hey, look. Another, another Queen's Knight. Um, I can't win with Dark Magician this turn, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I would have I came 200 life points short of actually winning this turn, dude. If he beats me now, I'm just I'm gonna rage so hard, literally gonna rage like none other. What are his two fusions? Pa dark paladins? Oh no, black one black skull and one dark paladin. Okay. Please be the end of your turn. End your turn. Thank you. Oh look, it's King's Knight. And so I can special summon Jack's Knight. Yay! Um... Okay. Let's go ahead and win this duel. Yep, victory. Thank you. Finally. You lose, Kaiba. I told you your hatred and your lust for power would never prevail. I did it, but my toughness, toughest battle is still ahead when I face Merrick in the final duel. The final face-off, uh, Clash in the Coliseum Reverse, Central Kaiba, an Obelisk, uh, Silent Doom, Final Attack Orders, and some Victory Duel Points. Alrighty, here we go, final face-off, baby. Let's do this, Merrick. The time had come for the final face-off, Yugi vs. Merrick with the fate of the world on the hanging in the balance. I have been waiting for this moment for my entire life. Soon your infinite power will be mine. Merrick, not only will I defeat you, I'll free you from the darkness that controls you. Ha ha ha, now that I'd like to see. Alright, we're just going straight into this, dude. We're, we ain't, they ain't messing around with any dialogue here. Dang it! Merrick gets to choose. Go first, Merrick. Go first. You dick. I hate you, Merrick. Actually, I like you as a character. I like the super evil Merrick. No, okay, good. I was like, don't, don't do it. Don't do this to me. Um. If you control spellcaster, you target one monster you control, tribute that target, and special summon one spellcaster type monster when you can destroy. Then you can destroy one monster on the field. Oh, okay. It's not a bad effect. Alright, Fiend Sanctuary. You cannot tag. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving it during each of your standby phases. Pay 1,000 points or destroy this token. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna activate Fiend Sanctuary. I'm gonna throw it into attack mode. I'm gonna throw Magical Dimension in defense, or not in defense mode, face down. I wanna try to get Kings and Queens Knight out there so I can get Jack's Knight dropped, but. I gotta do, I gotta be smart. No, F you, Dark Jeroid. I'm actually okay with this. Okay, monsters can attack the turn they're summoned. Okay, that's actually helpful to me. Thank you, Kaiba. Thank you, Kaiba. That, that, that's helpful to me. Why can't I? Oh my gosh, a flip summon counts. Oh my god. I didn't think a flip summon would count for that, but it does. Alright, good. You just moved your monster defense mode. Thank you. Alright, Queen's Knight. Oh, dang it. I needed to summon Queen's Knight first. Well, I'm just jacking all this up. And Dark Jeroid has too many defense points, so... Yeah, just go to defense mode. Yep, yep, it's just the defense show out here. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, until one of us can either summon a more power- Oh my gosh, I can't- I can't do it. I can't play any stronger monster. Uh, this is not good. I could summon uh, Slifer, but I guess, but it wouldn't do me any good. You only have 2,000 attack. Oh my gosh, please! Well, well, it's time. It's time. It's time to drop Slifer the Sky Dragon. Okay, so I've got 3,000 attack points at this point. I wish I wouldn't have set Magical Dimension, because if I didn't, I would have had the attack points to... Oh! Oh no! Son of a bitch! Come on! Come on, Merrick! Come on! Come on, dude! Come on, Merrick! Why you gotta be a dick? Okay, I'm gonna soul charge. Screw it. I gotta risk it for the biscuit. I gotta risk it. I gotta, I gotta risk it for the biscuit. Um. Could bring Slifer back for one turn, but that's not gonna help me. Um. Um, I just gotta bring back some stuff to defend. I guess that's what we're going for right now. Oh, you know what? I can bring back as many monsters as I want. Yeah, I want to do this. Yeah, I want to set all of them in defense mode. <laughs> I'm going to lose 4,000 life points for this maneuver, but I'm going to give it a try. It gives me a defense against Raw. Hey, 4,000 life points. Raw has no attack? Hmm. Dude. I don't think it works, though. I don't think... On this car. You know what, YOLO, we're trying it. Wait, cannot be... I don't know, we're gonna try it. Whatever. Give me your raw! Now I'm dropping Buster Blader. Taking that out. Um, let me get rid of... Alpha. Yep, say goodbye to your Winged Dragon of Raw, Merrick. Say bye-bye. Oh, he's got two face downs. Okay. What am I gonna draw? Monster Reborn. I'll take it. I'll take it. What do we got to, to summon? Um, I guess I'll take your 1800 attack point monster. Give that to me. Well, I have a full field now, so things are about to get real interesting. 
All right, baby. Let's go ahead and... Oh, crap. I want to attack. Oh, I can't attack yet with him. Come on. Come on. Yes, I got enough to destroy a revival jam. Yeah, just keep bringing the revival jam. Okay. Nope. GG, Merrick. I think this is GG. No. He's got freaking metal reflex slime, dude. No. I can't destroy this... Yeah. Son of a... Oh, my God. Dude. I got to get a monster with 3,500 attack. <gasps> this is a joke. I guess I can just keep destroying Revival Jam. <sighs> Yay, multiply. Okay, I guess go ahead and attack that. Yeah, you lose a thousand life points for that Metal Reflex line, so you better have something planned. Or not Metal Reflex, but Revival Jams. Alright, Merrick. If you bring them back, I win next turn. So I'm okay with that. Bring your bring your revival jams back. Do it. Yeah. Bring them both back. Do it. Yep, GG, Merrick. You idiot. Unless you're dropping another wing drip. Nope, he's not dropping another raw. Oh, well, that'll do her, Merrick. That'll do it. Let's go ahead and attack with Buster Blader. I don't know why he brought both of them back. GG, Merrick. What? Oh, he has to... Okay. Okay. I get it. You pay life... It's not when it's destroyed. You pay the life points. Alright, I get it now. No, no. Come on, something, dude. Not Fiend Sanctuary, man. Well, I guess I'm just gonna switch everything to defense modes to give it some boosted power, so... He probably can't destroy it. I'm only Buster Blader into attack mode, obviously, but let's get rid of that Revival Jam. Oh, what am I gonna do, dude? What am I gonna do? I have to get a monster with over 3,500 attack. If I don't get one, then I'm gonna lose because I'm gonna draw dead. And Dark Magician Girl, while helpful, does not actually help that much. Okay, um, I'm gonna sacrifice his monster. Alright, I could draw a Slifer down, I'd be happy. Because he would have 3,000 attack. We're at a standstill. We are literally at a freaking standstill. Isn't this, this is just a special duel right here. <sighs> oh look, more King's Knights, dude. This is stupid. I got 19 turns to draw the card to beat him. Oh, son of a, well. Well, that, that changes things. That changes things a lot. Oh, this is great. This is just pathetic. Give me something. Oh, yay. Karibo. Woohoo. There's nothing really I can do. I'm just literally going to have to sit here and not do anything. I would throw a King's Knight out there, but then I can't special summon Jack's Knight, so there's no point. Oh, looky, help a Wemmer. I look a red eyes. Yeah. Sacrifice you. Sacrifice you. Yay, now I can destroy help a Wemmer. Alright, see? Oh, yeah, I can't attack the turn on point card. Dang it. Alright, what you doing? What you doing, Merrick? What you gonna do? Uh, Magician of Faith, that's pretty good. I actually kinda want her, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with Magician of Faith over the King's Knight. Dang it, he's got Revival Jam. If 
but he can't pay the thousand life points to bring it back. So, it's literally a stalemate here. We are in a stalemate. And I'm gonna lose the stalemate because I have less cards left than him. I have one less card. Hey, look, it's Obelisk. Well, 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 well. And we come to this point. Flip our magician girl. Alright, let me take down this face down card. Alright, you can have it for till the end of this turn. <laughs> okay, give it back. <laughs> that served no point whatsoever. I would have saved that card if I was him. Oh no! Help O Emmer! He switched it to attack mode. What on earth am I gonna do? I'm gonna drop obelisk. I should have. Oh, what am I smoking? What am I smoking? I should have flipped a magician of faith. What am I smoking, dude? What on earth? What am I doing? What am I? What am I doing, man? What kind of drugs am I taking? What was I thinking? Whatever. Whatever. It didn't really matter what card he discarded. I probably would have picked Multiply if I had my choice, but I didn't, so it doesn't really matter. Wait, huh? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Lava Golem, really? You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose because of freaking Lava Golem. You have got to be kidding me. Well, it all depends on if I can draw a card that I can sacrifice. I have three turns to do it. Come on, come on, come on. Well, 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 isn't this, isn't this special? Well, it all comes down to this. It all comes down to whether or not I can draw a Dark Magician, Dark, out of 11 cards, I gotta draw Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, something. Something, Summon Skull, anything. No, well, not yet. Got one more, no, this is it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Can I win? Do I, do I win? Do I win? No! He's got another Metal Reflex Slime! You son of a bitch, dude. I'm gonna lose. Nope, I lost. There's nothing I can do. This stupid Lava Golem. Screwed me. I came so close to winning that there. Oh well. Got Revival Jam. F you, Merrick. Your little shitty pussy strategy. Of just, well, let me play Revival Metal Reflect Slime and sit behind it like a little bitch. Yay! Who duels like that? He wants to be the most powerful guy ever and he's using... Stupid metal reflex line. Um, well, well, I don't really like this hand. Give me pot of greed. Dang it. Um, I'm gonna set that, and I'm gonna set this just in case. And now I'm gonna card destruction because I want a new hand. There we go. Not the greatest hand, but it's better than what I had. So I'll take it. What is he summoning? I don't know what he just summoned. The good thing is I have a little bit more of a variety here. As it pertains to cards in my hand. He has one card left. Yeah, I'm gonna try to attack it. If it deals some damage, I don't really care. Yeah, okay, so... 
Wait, during your state during e this card gains 700 attack? What? Yeah, you can forget about keeping that card. Get that out of here. You can forget all about keeping that card on the field. Okay, I could really do with a graceful charity here. Graceful charity. Come on, graceful charity. Alright, I guess I'll take Fiend Sanctuary. Go to defense mode. Nope, I can't destroy Dark Jaroid. Oh, uh, this is horrible. I don't know why I paid Fiend Sanctuary. I'm gonna just drop Dark Magician, I think. I gotta drop I gotta drop him. I think Battle Reflect Slime is on the field. Oh, hey look, Soul Charge. Uh, yeah, I'll pay the thousand life points. I'm about to spend a bunch of more life points. Yay! Oh, God. Defense mode. Defense mode. Attack mode. Now, the question is, do I just want to summon... No. No. Nope. Nope. I'm dropping Obelisk. I'm dropping Obelisk. I ain't messing around. I am not messing around with this. I'm dropping Obelisk. I can't attack the turn I use Soul Charge, I don't think so. He's gotta have that stupid Metal Reflect Slime on the wherever, whatever it's called. Just drop King's Knight. Alright, Red Eyes, go ahead and destroy Dark Jeroid. Oh, no, Mirror Force. Wonderful, dude. Awesome. Just awesome. That's probably, that's gonna be DL. I'm gonna lose now because of Mirror Force. Oh god, dude. I'm gonna lose. I lost. I lost. I'm gonna lose so bad. Oh, exchange here. What card do you have? Oh, thank you. I'll take your Winged Dragon of Raw. Not that it does me any good. Yay! I lost, because he's going to have 2,200 attack points. Okay, whoopee, Merrick beat me again. Dude. I, uh, well, at least now I know. I know he has a Mirror Force, so... These last couple of duels, this is going to be like an hour-long episode, because I am going to do the other duel as well. So this could end up being like a two-hour episode <laughs> at this rate. Go first, Merrick. Okay, I guess I'm going first. Alright, not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. I will take it. Um. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it this way. Monsters can attack the turn they're summoned. Okay. Wow! What is this? What is this BS? What is this sorcery? Give me Fiend Sanctuary back. Okay, I'm gonna drop Red Eyes. Um, there's got to be a mirror force or something over there that he's he's got. He's got to have mirror force or metal reflect slime something. Um, okay, I think it's time to activate this. Wow, this hand, dude, this hand is worse than the last one. Um, okay, let's go ahead and attack. Okay, good, my attack went through, so I don't know what his face down cards are. I'm now confused on what those may be. This whole thing where you can't attack the turn you're summoned is really annoying. 
I don't know what his face down cards are. What the heck are his face down cards? Oh yay, soul charge. Uh, what monsters do I even have that would make this even worth doing? Um, you know what, whatever. Let's do it. Let's do it YOLO. I don't want to bring back Magician of Faith. That would just be a waste. Alright, everybody come out in attack mode. I'm coming out swinging. I'm already down 3,000 life points to America. Oh, this is not good. What are his face He's got to have something good face down, I would assume. Oh, yay. Soul exchange. I can't even use it because I don't have any monster cards in my hand. Okay. King's Knight, let's have you go first. Okay, good. Destroy Dark Gerroid. Alright, now Gazelle, I'm going to take the risk. Good. Kill the Revival Jam. Yeah, pay your 1,000 life points, Merrick. Whatever. Oh, yay! Metal Reflect Slime. Why am I not surprised? Why can't I, why can't that surprise me? Why does he have to be this douchebag that plays with Metal Reflect Slime? Can I draw a card that needs a sacrifice? I'll just sacrifice it. Ah, what are his other two? Oh, I could brain control it. That doesn't really help me either. Okay. This is wonderful, you know. We're just sitting here once again, Merrick. We're at a stalemate. And your douche McGruber strategies. Oh, yay. Pot of green. Where's that? Where's that mirror force? Dude. <laughs> I just have a bunch of magic cards in my hand. What is this? Bye. I don't know why he. I don't know why he keeps playing Dark Geroid. Yay! All right, yay! Next turn. Stupid revival chair. It did even up. Me just sit. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh, he played in defense mode anyway. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Oh yay! He summoned Wing Dragon Raw. Woohoo! Yay for Wing Dragon of Raw! Now, he has. Does he really have zero attack points? Because then I can kill him. Is he really gonna do this? Are you really gonna spend all your life points to do this? You suck, Merrick. You little douchebag. I hate you, Merrick. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and set Big Shield Garden up. So Wing Drain of Raw has no attack points right now. Okay, well. So I'm bring my red eyes back. Yeah, you can't pay life points anymore to, to destroy my monsters, or you're gonna lose the duel, Merrick. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, bitch? Yes, yeah, switch your god card into defense mode. You're scared. You're scared because I'm about to drop Slife of the Sky Dragon on you. Yep, say goodbye to your Egyptian God card. I'm about to I'm about to bring my own out. Let's go. Dropping that Slifer. 4,000 attack, baby. Now, Merrick, let's see what you do. I could have done that differently. I could have done that a lot better, but whatever. Okay, where's the mirror force? You know, I'm just waiting for it. Hit me with the mirror force. Oh no, metal reflex line. Well, I can destroy that. Find your metal reflex line. I should have fiend sanctuary and then dropped Jack's knife. What am I doing? What am I smoking, man? Okay, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack. Bye bye. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. He's got another stupid metal reflex slime. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, main phase two. Fiend Sanctuary. Whatever, in attack mode. 
And then time to drop my Jax Knight. Alright, end my turn. Where's the Mirror Force? Come on. I know it's somewhere. I know you got it somewhere. Where is the Mirror Force? Oh, look. Okay, I'm just gonna attack with Slifer. Okay, now do I win? Yes, F you, Merrick. Finally! Thank you! Master Merrick. Brother, please tell me you're alright. Merrick, it's over. Your evil side has been banished forever. It's finally over, my pharaoh? Yes, and the darkness has lifted from your heart. Merrick has overpowered the evil that controlled him for so long. My pharaoh, thank you. You saved mankind. We did. I wouldn't have been victorious had it not been for all of you. Pharaoh, rest assured that everyone who was banished the Shadow Realm by my dark side will return. Thank you. I have one more task to perform before my Tomb Keeper's mission is complete. Witness the secret to the Pharaoh's power inscribed on my back. See, these markings were passed down by my family from generation to generation for 5,000 years. We were taught that when the ancient Pharaoh saved the world from destruction, he wiped his own memory clean. But he knew that someday he would return and he'd need his memory back. So he entrusted one family with his greatest secret, the key to unlocking his mind and his power. Now that you hold the three Egyptian god cards in the Millennium Puzzle, all you need to do is read the words on Merrick's back. You are so close. It's time for us to leave now, Pharaoh, so please take this. The Millennium Rod belongs with you, or it won't cause any more harm. Thank you. And take this as well, the Millennium Ring is safest with you. With Yugi now possessing all the Millennium Items and the three Egyptian god cards, he could, make, he could now make sure that the Shadow Games would never return. Final duel, uh, final face-off reverse, Yami Merrick avatar, Ra's ascension de deck recipe, legendary Legend of the Fiend challenge deck, Winged Dragon of Raw, Help Oemmer, Legendary Fiend, and some duel points. Alrighty guys, this episode's already long, but we're going to go to the final duel now, so let's get this kicked off. Now that the Pharaoh saved the world, there was one, la there was one last thing he had to do, move on to the afterlife. Guided by Merrick, Ashizu, and Odeon, the team went to a sacred underground temple to house the, ga the gateway to the afterlife. To open the door, the pharaoh had to seal away the Egyptian god cards and the seven millennium items and have one final du duel, a ritual duel against Yugi. The duel would determine whether Yugi could now stand on his own as his own man and not need the, the pharaoh's help anymore. This is the first time in my life that I have hope for my opponent's victory, but in order for this duel to truly test our readiness to separate, I must fight with all my strength. Pharaoh, now that you have left the Millennium Puzzle, I can't hear your thoughts anymore. But somehow, I still know what you're thinking, and I feel the same way. If you taught me anything, it's to put your heart into your deck and duel with everything you've got. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, let's do this. I have a feeling this is... You know what? I actually... You, you can do some gadget stuff with Yugi. So, I'm not... This, this shouldn't be horrible. It's not gonna be easy, but I don't think it should be bad. Yuki doesn't have as trash of a deck as he has a lot of lower tier cards. Beautiful, a very nice hand. Oh god, not the tricky. Oh my mullet! What the hell am I supposed to do against that, dude? We just got the tricky all up on our business like right off the bat. Okay, it's time gold sarcophagus. Let me look through my deck. Um, summon skull might be good. Um, I'm gonna go with swords revealing light though, I think. Do I want to get... Hmm... I think I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go with class. Eh. I'm gonna go with Monster Reborn. And plus one spell counter on this card. This card gains 500 attack for each spell counter on it. During standby phase of your next turn, after the fifth spell counter is placed on this card, you can send this face-up card with the five spell counters on it to the graveyard. Special zone one. Silent Magician level eight. Okay, I'm gonna take the 600 damage just so I can add another gadget to my hand. What? 
What? Why do he ha does he only have- oh my god. Errors, errors, duelist mistakes. Oh well, this thing will protect me, whatever. Yeah, F you, tricky. There's really nothing I can do. Like, I could set a card, but it's just gonna get destroyed. Control, green jay get rid. This card gains 3,000 attack. Okay, now give me, give me my monster reborn. So I can summon Dark Magician. Yep, give me your Dark Magician, Yugi. I'll be taking that. Okay, now I'm gonna set Alpha. And take out one of these trickies. The animations in this game are actually pretty good for like a large, probably low budget game. Um, so I actually really enjoy that they did add that kind of for a couple of the cards, the main cards, I guess. Yeah, see, the tricky's just gonna attack. See, that was just a waste. And Swords are Revealing Light. Level up. Send one face up level monster you control to the graveyard. Special summon one monster from your hand or deck that is listed in that set monster's deck, ignoring its summon game. Well. Well, I will take Silent Magician level 8. Let's go. <gasps> oh, that, that worked out well. Um, this card is unaffected by your opponent's spell effects. Okay. Beautiful. Well, now I just gotta wait out the Swords Revealing Light. And now I've got two powerful magicians on the field. And Yugi doesn't have any cards to play. I really want to play Silent Magician level 4, but I have a feeling it'll just get wrecked immediately if I summon it in attack mode. So there's no point to do it. Okay, set another card. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, Swords of Revealing Light. Hey, I'll return the favor to you. Now I can summon my Silent Magician level 4. I think that should be the end of his swords. Good. There we go, one spell counter. Just set another monster. End your turn, don't play. Okay, good. No traps. Oh, would you looky there? Would you looky there? Another level. What? There's a hot. What? What? Oh my god, no! What the hell? Why would it have you do that? That's not even ranking up, that's ranking down. Oh well, whatever. What? What the? What the hell? Whatever. I didn't know that's how that was gonna work. Okay, you can destroy the tricky. Uh, you gotta destroy Queen's Knight. Alright, and now... Red Gadget. You can't destroy King's Knight, but that's alright, whatever. If I was him, I would've summoned King's Knight in attack mode, so I could've brought out Jack's Knight, at least, in defense mode. Oh wait, what he's, what's he dropping? Probably Dark Magician Girl or Summon Skull. That's what I would assume. Okay, well I got the Magnet Warriors and crap in my hand. Okay. Um. No. No. Archfiend of Gilfer. Well. I guess I just gotta wait until my Silent Magicians power up. There we go. Oh, Graceful Charity. Oh, no. Burfament. Oh, hey, he drew cards. <laughs> so that's good. Thank you, Yugi. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, look, another Swords of Revealing Light. So if he hits me with a... Oh, I was gonna say, if he hits me with... Oh, no. But, I mean, if he was to hit me with a Mirror Force, I would have been alright, because I do have that Swords. 
Oh, call the haunted. Oh, he's bringing back the tricky. He's bringing back the tricky. If you want to leave Tricky out there in attack mode, you go for it. If you want to destroy that red gadget, go ahead. Um, okay. Whatever. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, no. What's he summoning now? It's got to be Dark Magician. It had to be Dark Magician. That's the only thing I can think of that he would summon. I'm missing one stupid magnet warrior, and then I could... Whatever. Oh no, it was Swift Gaia. Well, GG. Wow, that was easy. Wow, that was easier than I could ever imagine. Congratulations, well done. You, you achieved a great victory for us both. I was focusing so hard on playing the game that I forgot that winning this duel would actually mean by defeating you, I've sent you away for good. No, you have opened the door for me. Thanks to you, my spirit can finally be at rest once again. I'll be back where I belong. Fate brought the two of us together for a reason, and we fulfilled our destiny. We've protected mankind from the return of the Shadow Games, and we've both grown tremendously along the way. I'm gonna miss you. You do realize we'll never truly be apart, right? The gift of kindness you've given me and the courage I've given you will remain with us, and that will forever bind us together. Right. Now that the battle ritual is complete, the Eye of Wajat that guards the door to the spirit world has awakened, and the spirit of the great pharaoh which was trapped within the Millennium Puzzle for 5,000 years is now free. The time is, has arrived. Tell the Eye of Wajet your name. I am son of King Akhnemkanen. My name is Atam. Alright, new reverse duel unlocked. The final duel. Ceremonial duel deck recipe unlocked. King of Games achievement unlocked. Monster of Born signature card. Palmerization. Archfina Gilfer and Victory Duel Points. Okay, so that is you that is um the first uh series, the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, the best one. Uh that is that complete. I'm going to just be going through and doing all these and then coming back to do the reverse duels. Uh and so we'll be moving on to GX in the next episode, the next King of Games. Uh so that one should be fun. Uh I will pick up the DLC. Um, for these because I actually am enjoying this and it adds a few duels for five bucks. It's really not that big of a deal. So I'll go ahead and pick those up and we'll continue with GX next time. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.